What's going on guys? Sam Man back with another uh, Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles by Playmates. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Rat King. Uh, this guy looks totally different compared to the older version of um, the Rat King from the 88 series and I'm hoping we get a re-release figure from him from the classic collection. But packaging is exactly the same. You can see it says the Rat King telepathic commander of the rat army so same basic uh, uh, packaging on these same little artwork right there we got the figures that we have out so far and a little read up on the rat king got a nice little picture right here from the uh, cartoon but I really like that picture looks really cool and a little read up right there if you guys would like to pause and read but that is the packaging on this guy let's take a quick little break and we're gonna take a closer look at the Rat King. Stay tuned. So here's a quick little 360 look at the Rat King. This is actually a really, really nice figure. I'm really happy the way this came out. It's just really cool. He's got some really cool detail, really nice little outfit going on, and he's got one one rat that you can uh, 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 obviously pose anywhere you'd like on the figure, and he's got uh, a few, se uh, several other ones that are attached to his body, but a really cool figure nonetheless. Let's go ahead and take a closer detailed look. All right, so accessories wise, let's get this tripod straight. Okay, so he does come with the rat. You can see right here, pretty nice little detail. You can make out the hairs. He's got the red eyes and he's got a, a big old rat tail right here, a pink one that you can wrap around his arm because uh, you can basically place this rat on his on his hand, which is pretty cool. And he also has his uh, staff or his his stick right here, which you can it fits perfectly in his hand, and uh, doesn't have much detail going on, but looks pretty good. Uh, pretty good. Looks like a piece of wood, so that's pretty cool. It's a soft uh, soft material, so careful with that. Now taking a look at Rat King himself, he's got a really nice looking head sculpt. You can see that right there. It's very it's kind of creepy looking. Look at that. Almost looks like the Crypt Keeper. Very, very nice. He's got the hat right on top. It's not removable, but it is a softer material. Same with the uh, same with his coat. And if you look throughout his his outfit here, you can see he's got some black rats on him, um, which is actually looks pretty cool. They're a softer material as well, so carefully don't pop these things off. But it looks like he's got one here that's uh, on his shoulder. You can you can move the tail around on the. He's got one on the right shoulder. Got one on the left shoulder. You can see the tail going over his back, and you can move it around. He's got one on the right arm in the bicep area, so you can see that right there. And looks that looks like that's it. So the black little uh, trench coat or coat that he has on is very nice. It's got a little bit of detail on it. It's got a few little wrinkles and stuff, a little torn on the bottom. And you can see the sandals right there, and you can make out his feet. And there's the bottom. He's got one peg hole in the sandals. And uh, his uh, little uh, wrappings around his leg, which look really cool. This figure looks like it would glow in the dark. It's a, it's a really nice, it's a really really nice looking figure. I really like the way um, this guy came out. Very very cool. Now, in the way of his articulation, the head can rotate, uh, can go up and down. The arms do go in and out. They can rotate around. No bend at the bicep. Rotation at the hand. You can see that there. You can see he's got a few little tears right there in the uh, sleeves. I really like the way that head sculpt came out. Yeah, let's get back into the articulation. So you can rotate it in the wrist. Legs do go in and out, and uh, looks like they can kind of go forward and back, but no bend at the no bend at the knees and no rotation at the legs. And doesn't look like he has waist articulation. If he does, you can't really tell because of the the jacket. It is a separate uh, piece. But this is a really cool looking figure, guys. I definitely recommend you guys pick this up. This is These figures are hitting stores now. So make sure you guys check this out. This is the Rat King, a really, really cool figure. Definitely going to want this for your uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle collection. All right, guys, this is Seha Man. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Like my video, subscribe, comment. We'll see you guys later. Take care.